Hello everybody, Team Run Smart Pro Jimmy Navarro is here bringing to you a quick how-to on depressurizing your CNG system and checking for moisture in the high pressure filter and draining that properly. So what we're going to do here to start off is with our emergency valve on on still. We're going to go ahead and isolate each tank valve that we have in the system and close off each one of these individually. Not to forget the one down here in the bottom of the uh, side rail tank. Now with all these valves shut off, we're going to go ahead and bleed the system by inserting our key in the ignition and running the truck until basically it runs out of fuel in all the system. So if we'll give this a moment here, once it bleeds down, we'll know that the system is going to be flushed of all the fuel, and we'll go ahead and open the bleed valve just to be sure and double check. While you're doing this, you can be over here watching your gauge, and you'll see that it's slowly going to go down to zero, and that's when we'll have the engine run out of steam. takes a little bit depending on uh, what system you are running, how many tanks you have, and how many lines. While we're waiting for that to finish up, I'll bring you over here and we can show you where the bleed valve is. This bleed valve will open up with a 5 sixteenths. We'll have the 11 sixteenths wrench handy socket or wrench. And that will go ahead and be for actually draining the drain plug. You notice we also have our set of O-rings. And then here, this is the handy trick of them all because you have to properly lubricate the O-rings. So we have silicone grease. Uh, silicone based uh, clear grease that we use to grease those o-rings okay we're getting pretty close to zero here and there she goes all right so now we're going to go ahead and bleed the excess uh, make sure it's fully drained and then try to uh, make sure there's no moisture in the uh, high pressure filter. So I've turned the camera angle around here so we can get a better view of what's going on. So basically what we're going to be doing here is, is making sure that the fuel systems where we're fueling uh, are, are not getting any of the oil or moisture into the system uh, here at the inlet where it comes in. So this is actually your high pressure filter and then your bleed valve. So first we're going to go ahead and bleed this valve now with the system all drained make sure that we are free of all CNG in the system. Okay, and it's open all the way, so it did a good job there. And that means that this is now fully empty. So this down here on the bottom of your high pressure filter is gonna be your drain valve. And that's where we're gonna check for any moisture coming through. We have our 11 16th socket. There we go. You'll open.
open that slowly. And if you've been fueling at good stations, you shouldn't have too much there coming out. And this is recommended every 1,500 miles and increasing intervals from there, just depending on how much you get. And as you can see, we just have a little tiny bit there. So we're gonna check our drain plug. It has a little bit on it. We're gonna go ahead and wipe off. While we're doing so, you wanna inspect that O-ring that is on there. Make sure it's not cracked. And we can take a little bit of that silicone there. Just dab a little on that O-ring. Make sure it's lubed up. And we will put it back on here, nice and gently. And we'll tighten it back on. With that being done, be sure to close your bleed valve. Since your system is already on, then we can go ahead and turn all the tanks back on. And you can hear it all fill back up. Go ahead and make sure the system starts and everything's okay. And that, folks, is how you properly depressurize your system, check for moisture in your high pressure filter, and repressurize and start your system. If there's any questions for leaks, you may want to leak test down here, of course, with soapy water like you would for an air leak in your truck. So thank you very much for tuning in, and I hope you enjoyed it and learned something.